Hi, I'm Chris Melton. I'm their Texas sake specialist, and I want to talk about a particular sake today called the Mayo Sucasa Black. Uh, a Mayo Sucasa Black is what's known as a Junmai. And Junmai sake is separate themselves from table sake, and that Junmai sake can only be made from rice, water, koji mold, and of course yeast, right? Table sake can include those four elements, but also typically include artificial flavoring agents like amino acids or sugar or additional alcohol. When we take the step up from what represents the biggest category of sake, which is table sake, to Junmai, we're requiring that the sake only be made from those four ingredients, rice, water, koji, and yeast, right? So this particular sake is found in Niigata Prefecture. The Amayo Sukasa Brewery has been around since 1767. It is certainly in the big scheme of sake, uh, more of a younger brewery. Most sake breweries have been around for several hundreds of years. Amayo Sukasa has been around longer than the United States has even been a country. So this is a great sake in that it utilizes a local rice called Gyoku Mangoku. Gyoku Mangoku is a rice that was developed to grow in the super snowy conditions of Niigata Prefecture in far northwestern Japan. Where there's very high mountains and an accumulation of snow in the wintertime, this rice performs well in an area of the country that can be very difficult for rice production. Something else that makes this sake extremely interesting is its source of water. And water especially can be very, very interesting depending on what part of Japan this water is located in. And overall, the country of Japan is known to have very soft water, but within the country of Japan, your water sources will differ in its dissolved solid content, making it either hard water or soft water. As a part of Japan with very, very soft water that's the result of snow melt, this sake tends to make very subtle, very clean, very light, and very dry styles of sake as well. This particular sake is kind of considered what I would say an extra dry style. That extra dry style means that the sake is a very, very minimal amount of sweetness, but does have a fair amount of savoriness to it as well, which makes it a great candidate to do with food. So with the Mayo Sucasa, some of my favorite pairings are to go with dishes that obviously can be very challenging in the world of wine, right? So dishes that are certainly smoked, dishes that are grilled, we're talking about great uh, pairings for things like roasted chicken and pork, especially pork belly. Because the sake has a very, very dry quality, which actually texturally makes it very similar to the snow melt of Nagata, this sake has a tendency to really fill in the background between dishes over the course of the meal. So when we talk about dishes such as fried chicken, or spicier dishes, or more savory grilled smoked dishes, this sake has the ability to kind of transcend several different dishes over the course of a meal, making it a great suggestion for people who are trying sake for the first time. So the Amayo Sukasa Black Label Junmai, I hope you get to try it soon.